Good afternoon, quick short update for Barnabas Junction. Uh, decided, to, uh, as to the last update, I decided now to get rid of the old uh, plastic Hornby platforms. As you can see, they are really well worn. Um, they're, they're all right. They're a good alternative for everyday mess about layout in my eyes. But for a keen modeler uh, looking for a good realistic effect, Nah. Thank you, Ornby, but yeah, they're not good enough for uh, what we modelers really are looking for. Uh, the, the ones I've got are a bit of a mess now, so I decided to get rid of these. Now, what I've done um, as an alternative, as you can see, um, I've been out and purchased some uh, straight timber, um, cut them to a desired length, um, pretty much the same as what we had before. Um, this one I've just done a first top coat to test with the paint I acquired. It is um, slate grey, the paint. Uh, it's from Home Base. Uh, it's an emulsion paint because I didn't want to use gloss, as gloss would be quite shiny. Even though if you get a matte gloss, I think emulsion would be a mu is a much better natural look. Um, that's first coat on there, for just on the top section of there. Not sure if it's a bit light. Please comment below on your thoughts on this. This is actually under natural light at the moment through this uh, sky, skylight in the loft. Um, maybe it might go a little bit darker with the another coat. I'm not sure. We'll see. But uh, it's not bad. The pot was only it was only a cheap uh, samples pot, and as you can see, I've done the top coat there. Not really used that much, to be honest. Uh, so yeah, not too not too fussed over that. It's looking quite bare. Um, as is, as it is, it's one full piece, so there's no join, so it'll look a lot better. The ends, I'm not sure of. I don't really fancy putting sloped ends on. I might uh, in a later date adjust that. Um, the edges, uh, there again, I'm still not unsure. I'm a bit unsure on what I'm going to do there as well. I um, suppose that'll come along. I might use, I might just use some of this brick paper, trim it down, see how it looks on the edging. We'll see. Um, so we've got that's one side. That's the main side. That is actually screwed down. It's got one screw in it, just holding it in place so I can make sure that the track was aligned because I just had to slightly adjust it. Um, bring the track in a little tiny bit where well, it literally was just millimeters about two millimeters just so it, the, the trains didn't catch the plot the, the wood edge um, but that is actually secured down it's a good perfect fit everything runs through it pendolino super voyager standard coaches freight and everything will run past that and not a problem without even touching it um, the metcalf top platform that will in time also go now that's actually going to be a slight improvement for myself because this Metcalf platform wasn't happy with it in the because it does not look it does not look the piece. It's okay. I'd say it's better. I think it's better than the Hornby plastic ones, but yeah. Nah. We'll uh, get rid of that. But um I'll just get a small section of the wood. There's a small cut off I've got. Um I'll just put that on the edge. As you can see, these pieces of wood are slightly narrower. Than the Metcalf platforms, which is a benefit to me. Um, so when I put it in, I'll put it in at that position there, giving extra space there. I will then bring that uh, line then slightly closer to the layout, giving me a little bit more room around the back for scenic uh, bushes, trees, maybe if I can fit some in, but maybe a bit of fencing because I've got back scenes to go on here. So that's uh, uh, an added bonus to it. I'm quite looking forward to actually getting that bit done, but I'm not going to mess with up there until I've got down here finished um, and screwed down. Now, some of you'll say, oh, how am I going to screw it down? Ah, easy, because it's open area underneath. I'm going to be going underneath, screwing from underneath. That way, there's no screw holes in the top section. I don't want to glue it down because I want the ability to be able to remove it if need to be for the future. Um, so screwing underneath, from underneath, is an added 
bonus on there so it makes so there's no messing with the platform itself so yeah that's slate gray from home base a little sample pot i think it cost one pound 40 i think it was one pound 39 something like that so it's, i've not used much and i've got a feeling i'll probably if when i come to the top section up there i might have to go and get another pot but yeah one pot's going to go through the whole lot that's saying i don't decide to change i might change to a slightly darker um, so if we get the original platform, you can see there's a slight colour difference. I'm not sure. I think, that, I, to be honest, I think this is more of a natural look. I do, I do think it's more natural than the, the plastic, the plastic ones from Hornby. We'll see how it goes, and I'll, you'll see more uh, on that on the next update that comes from Barnabas Junction. So until then, uh, thanks for watching.